Right. We are about to get into... Hmm. About to get into Yoit versus Omega. And it looks like Omega is opting for the Mewtwo. So it'll be Mewtwo versus Ryu, Battle of the DLC. Two characters who can kill obscenely early, but only one who can die obscenely early. That's not to say that Mewtwo doesn't have stuff in this matchup. He has uh, the, amazing, the amazing multi hit Nair, which will no doubt, in fact, both Nair and Up Smash will beat out Focus Attack pretty hard. And I'd imagine. I'd imagine that Town and City would be at least a, a relatively decent stage for both characters. We've got a battlefield. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, I can see that actually. I can see that for both characters. Um, especially with Mewtwo, you kind of want to stop him dying as early as he does to Ryu with large blast zones. Yeah. <laughs> You're back. Right, starting game one. Uh, you want to take stage control? Hold your center stages. I see the perfect pivots and I see the attempted walking down tilts here. But Yoy is just kind of covering this arc on stage between the ground and the first platform. Good offensive option actually to get, to get over Yoy there, but now he's on the other side of the stage and Yoy is still holding the centre. Kind of cutting off his options as he tries to come in. Wow, back hit up tilt, putting pressure on his shield there. I like that cross up there, back into Yoy. Attempts to DP already. I mean, Mewtwo's light, man, but he's not that light. <laughs> Flex the. Instead of what it's called. Flex the thing. Focus attack out here, stun. That's a weak hit, of focus attack. A weak hit, I think, and it's just. Oh, yeah. The ledge is down tilt. I like the idea, but the execution was not there. And he gets up tilt into fair. First stock. Okay, nice. Omega misses the down air, which would definitely take the stock, but he gets the forward air regardless. That's an easy F guard there. Tied up after first stock. Bike controller is me. Hello. You've always been holding stage control a lot this game, actually. I found that Omega's just kind of having to find his way around the stage, and uh, he's, he's having to traverse the stage just as much as he's having to fight. Really. And that's, that's kind of a thing that Mewtwo does because he has to bypass the ledge quite often. He has to grab the ledge. And, uh, he does have very good mobility, very good, good air dodge, uh, platform cancels, teleports, sort of thing. It's, it's very. Well, he's, he's deceiving me fast, especially after that, that patch with him, just as fast as she. Crosses them up, doesn't quite get the, the sweet spot of the TSRK. I think that's probably, there we go, it gets there. Probably due in part to Mewtwo's floatiness that he's able to get out of strength like that, but it's not going to be completely consistent. It's a matter of SDI, rage, and percent, and all these other factors. Oh, he had the right read, but it's not quite perfect positioning. I like that you read his option to, to jump out of shield there for the forward air. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Nice, up airs from the ledge. Again, Omega is having to kind of fight his way back into the center stage from, from the ledge. Oh, the very last hitbox of the up smash taking that stock. <laughs> he does the slow Mewtwo walk. That's a cool walk, actually. Yeah, people talk about the Zard walk. That was really cool. He just, like, floats. Like an anime character. Mewtwo is definitely the most anime character in this game. You see his forward throw? So anime. Nice. Weaves out of the uh, focus attack there. And I mean, you two can actually die at this percent, but. Oh, I suspect they're not. And that's going to be an up tilt to a TSRK. Taking game one for Yoi. And 
8 bands Duck Hunt and has just begun. <laughs> Duck Hunt and and Lilac Cruise. Yeah, Lilac not a great stage for me, to my understanding. I'm very limited at this stage. <laughs> I make it like, okay. Let's let's take this seriously. Okay, going back to battlefield. This time Rose vs. Ryu. I'm not sure how we take this matchup going to be. I've only ever seen it once, which was a uh, trailer and the buzz from Evo. It's kind of a train wreck for trailer. Uh, I mean, it's like Rosa has a lot of multi hits, so focus attack can be an option. And it seems like Ryu's kind of big meteor areas can deal with Rosa relatively easily. But I feel like down air, for example, especially off stage, is an amazing team to which to deal with. Oh, I like that option a lot. So he went for the back air and missed it because Omega Air knocked through, but he was ready and he turned around and up tilted to punish it. That was, damage, that was really, really nice. Really. I need to change the scores. So it is. Yoit is up game one. You're doing a good job of uh, getting rid of Bloomer, actually. It seems like that's his priority of this game. To be honest, that is the ideal way to play against Rosa. A lot of people go in to fight Rosa and say, I'm going to get rid of Bloomer. Or like, I know why you need to get rid of Bloomer. But they end up getting distracted by trying to get too desperate and taking taking damage you know, over over a dead Bloomer. Yeah, a dead Bloomer is much more important. So, ah, uh, you know, it flops the recovery. Yeah, he's missing the. That's unfortunate. But then, what does it matter? <laughs> and TSRK is the thing. And Mega Screaming for a small one. That's the thing, with Ryu, you can land focus attack like, a lot more reliably in this matchup because Rosa doesn't have any multi hit aerials apart from Nair. Uh, and that's still a landing hit, though, so it's not really something to get on focus attack. Live! That's <laughs> giving it like it's the SD. Although, if I'm correct, uh, Rosalina with Luma, her aerial is going to be considered multi hit, so we've got two hits like other hits. That's possibly, but definitely when Luma's gone, focus attack is very nice. Uh, not really sure that's what I'm talking about, but uh, I think it's a zero, but I guess it's advanced in my games. It's the idea that you can do it in your head, like, you know, you get punished by it, so you need to just pull it. I think he was reading a jump in the left there. Uh, I'm going to switch. And an unfortunate. Tech club on the recovery again. So you're just gonna drop that stock there. Move it dead though. Okay, on Lumen, 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 shield pressure in the ledge. I feel like the story of this set has actually been, uh, in spite of how this game is going, you has trekked this game on the ledge quite a lot. Now I'm making it to the United States. And a third SD? Right. So, yep, yeah, so Omega takes game two, I say he takes, it's more like, it's more like Yuit drops it, Yuit loses that game, but there you have it, 1-1 one, one between Yuit and Omega. Yeah, cold hands. Both players agree into cold handles. Uh, Mega bands, Lila and Final Destination. So we're going back to Battlefield again for Game 3. Entirely Battlefield set. No? Okay then, so game three, going to smash Bill now instead. Um, I can see this is a counter pick for you, mainly because uh, platform pressure from Rosa is incredible. You never want to be above Rosalina. And, well, as you can see right here, 
Uh, Omega have to be tanking about these areas right now. So this stage is a bit flat. I feel like flat stages aren't necessarily bad for Rosa, but they're not as good as those platform stages. So just kind of see them out. So this kind of thing makes sense, unfortunately. When she has Lumo, Rosa's half smash. Like most hits can come two hits with this one. Nearly another punish with the focus stack there, just slightly misspaced it. Oh, he's got him with the ledge. That was some nice pressure there. He didn't quite read the option correctly. Nip that Rosa down deep, I love that. that Lucrecio is just defeated Burning 2 of it. It's actually a really close set. Yeah, let's set up. So, Omega, I was about to say, he wants to get rid of this stock as soon as possible. He went cracks up with laughter, dying to the Illuminous F smash. Look at the shield pressure, though. You went ahead a uh, whole 50% in game 3. Takes both hits in there. I really like the way that he's dealing with Luma, actually. Look at, this. Look at the way these aerials absolutely eviscerate Luma. So it making this matchup look a little bit better than I thought it was. Okay, kind of preemptive there. There wasn't really a need to go for that. It's quite predictable. Got my man streaks. Got my man streaks. Got my man streaks. Okay. Streaks just walks into the building. Need to make space. Okay. You ain't covering the jump get up there with the nair. And Omega kind of forced to retreat to the ledge. 3 hit jab up it. Oh my god, why knockback? Why that much knockback? TSRK is the Luma. Can't land the focus tech right now because Luma is active and he flubs the recovery again. That's a really important SD. Didn't want to lose that stock at all. Luma is taken out though. I mean, Rosa can absolutely die in this percent. Even with no rage, it doesn't matter. It's just really like, up tilt to show you is totally a thing. Down throw fair. Okay, yeah, so Luma wasn't wasn't active, so he was he was able to land on a focus attack. Turn around, TSRK. Last stop, game three. You're only behind 20%. Percent doesn't really mean that much in this matchup. It's just who can jank each other out with this stupidly early kill first. Space back air and shield there from Omega. Really warding them out these back airs. Wow, this is like four or five back airs in a row. They've all done. Also, it's a very effective purpose for him. Reese the head or just enough air. You're it's in trouble, man. So he manages to put, put back air and shield and then dash grab him. He's out of shield option. It's kind of crazy, actually. Not such a well spaced back air there getting punished in the upside out of shield. You know, it's just kind of walking and up to it now. He's gonna, he's gonna need to see something quite spontaneous from Joy if he wants to start this game. He's gonna have to come somewhat out of nowhere. Uh, Joy did jump out of it very smart. She's not too much. And he covers the roll. Covers the roll with the up tilt. That was nice. So these guys are obviously play the long one. And the back end. Trouble, and he lands on top of the up smash. Unfortunately, he loses another game three set. Omega wins 2 1. Oh, 
go. 2-1 to Omega.